Good evening, everyone. I'm Archit Thajadri. Today is Tuesday, July the 19th. This is We On. Let's take a look at your top stories making headlines this hour. The eastern Indian state of Jharkhand has joined operations with the state administration of Bihar after the Maoist encounter there that killed 10 paramilitary commandos. The elite Cobra Battalion CRPF commandos were killed in an IED blast in the Aurangabad jungles. The platoon was ambushed by the Naxals, triggering an encounter between the two sides. At least 56 people have died on airstrikes on Tuesday in the Islamic State health city of Manbij in northern Syria. Those who live there believe the attack was carried out by U.S.-led warplanes. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights says 11 children are among the dead. 26 people have died after a tour bus in Taiwan crashed en route to the airport on Tuesday. Most of those on board were from China. Authorities say the fire moved quickly through the bus, but no word on how it started. The passengers were on their way to Taiwan, the island's main airport just south of the capital, Taipei. New controversy looms at the Republican National Convention in Cleveland. Aspiring First Lady Melania Trump's speech on Monday had striking similarities to Michelle Obama's speech back in 2008. A Trump campaign official says it could have been an error by Melania's speech writers. A spokesperson for the Trump campaign says the speech was a success, but the writers may have borrowed some language accidentally. Police have found a hand-painted Islamic State flag inside the room of a young Afghan refugee. The 17-year-old attacked passengers on a train with an axe in southern Germany. This according to the state minister. The attacker hurt four people from Hong Kong as well as a local woman before police shot and killed him on Monday. ISIS claimed responsibility for the attack. Turkey purged its police Monday after it rounded thousands of soldiers in the wake of a failed military coup. Turkey says it may reconsider its friendship with the United States unless Washington hands over a cleric. Nearly 20,000 members of the police and military were detained or suspended since Friday night's coup. More than 200 people were killed when some of the armed forces try to seize power. And that is our bulletin for right now. You can get updates from our news channels from across the globe. Just check our digital, mobile and social media platforms. Thanks again for joining us. Have a great night.